So when it's time to set the boundary lines, if you have a partner again, each of you take half of these stakes that are gonna stake those boundary lines down. And each of you should have one long boundary marker, which is for the sides. You should each have one of the black ones, which is what will be your no spike zone markers. And then you should each have one of the shorter yellow ones, which will be your end lines. There are a number of grommet holes on each of these lines. This is what a grommet hole looks like. Now that's the very end. What you want to do is you want to find the middle. This is where you would stake it for singles play, and we'll get into that later. So if you continue, the next grommet hole that you'll run into, that's going to be your no spike zone. The next one is the middle, and then at another five feet, another no spike zone. So that's how you know you found the middle. Steve, why don't you go ahead and show staking that middle one down. And from here, you're gonna eyeball what is square, drag those back. I'm gonna do the same over here. Just make sure there are no twists. You just eyeball that and go ahead and put a stake in. You're gonna share this grommet hole with the end boundary. But don't worry if you're eyeballing it and it's not exactly square, that'll work itself out in this next step. The side of the boundary line that has that extra grommet hole, that's gonna line up with your singles court. So as you make your adjustments, it's very easy to adjust one line in as you're moving the post in, and we'll show you that later. So you just lay it down, you think you're square, you just set this one right over the top and put that stake back in. So you just kind of adjust it. Go eyeball it again, and it should be fairly close to square. And once you're satisfied with that rectangle, it's time to do the no spike zone line. Find your no spike zone grommet hole on your side boundaries. It's going to just share that hole. You're set up and ready to play. <laughs> 